Hello, friends. Welcome to the Dreamcast. What's cracking, world? Yes. Flow in, people. Join us. On today's episode of the Dreamcast, we will be joined by the one and only Daniel Armbruster from Joywave. Soon here, in just a moment. Hello, hello everyone. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Ryan. How's birthday in the life of quarantine? Need some sunlight? Yeah. I think you're right. A haircut tutorial. <laughs> As you can see, I do not know how to cut my hair. So I might not be the best one to uh, make a tutorial for that. Rover's holiday hangover. Yeah, pretty much. There's Dan. Uh, Dan. Oh, there you are. Ah. We are adding him here in just a second. Ah. <laughs> there you are. Look who. I just, I just heard Rover's Holiday Hangover mentioned. Yeah, Rover's Holiday Hangover? Yeah. This is, uh... The recap, part two. <laughs> okay. This, how how are you? I think you're coming in kind of okay. choppy. I'm coming in choppy. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it seems a little bit fifty six k vibes. Uh. Okay, hang on. Let me see if there's a. Uh, I have I have maximum maximum bars. Is it still choppy? Actually, that's a lot better. Okay, great. Okay. I'm, I'm sitting on the couch now, which, All right. which you know. I'm sitting on your couch. On my couch? Yeah. Yes. The, Welcome the couch to my home. How, how right. are things there? Uh, things are good, Mr. Wave. Uh, you know, we quarantining, which is not such yeah. a bad fate. For me, I uh, I like being at home. I'm using the opportunity to practice piano and get my recording set up uh, rocking. Um, what about you? Do you, got, do you got it set up so far? Did you start? No, I uh, I just started. I just started. I have like 50 million plugins to license and troubleshoot and stuff. But uh, that's meantime, that's the worst. Like sw switching over to a new computer and authorizing all the plugins. Absolute yeah. worst. It's insane. There's like 10 million. And they all really don't want you to uh, use them. It's funny it's like because, it. like, it's actually easier to steal them than to license them and get them to work properly. Right. So it's like they're right, punishing right. the people who actually spent money on their plugins. Right. Um, so, possession. Yeah. Congratulations on the release of oh, your you. album, Possession. Uh, for all the kids out there uh, who don't know, what is an album? Oh, uh, it's, uh, I think it's anything over seven songs, maybe, combined into really? one one tight package. Uh, for For me personally, I try to make sure there's kind of something that ties it together thematically. Uh, or that it makes a statement as a body of work as opposed to just a bunch of songs. But uh, I, I think any bunch of songs over seven counts as a record or an, an album. Sorry. An album. Yeah. Why is, why is it called an album? It's like a, like a photo album? No, I think it's, a, I think it's an archaic thing from, from back in the oh, day, yeah. like me calling it a record, right? Yeah. I, I do still I, record. I actually know why it's called. Call it. You do. Uh, why it's called an album? Yeah. Because uh, back in the day, original LPs were only uh, long enough for one song, 
Okay. So when they'd actually make an album like a photo book that had like 10 discs in it. And that was the first type of album. Wow. So that's literally really an album I didn't know that of either. discs. Yeah. I think you, you and I should probably call them CDs, right? Right. <laughs> Coming from our generation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have a new CD out. Check out the new Dreamer CD coming at you hot. <laughs> you should. Do you like do you like my beard? This is this is like two, I do. two weeks of growth. Is this a this is a goatee, right? This is a goatee. Yeah, is that just where it grows in? Does it not grow yeah. in on the sides or did yeah, you shave is, that on the sides? No, I I've never shaved this part of my face actually ever in my life. Like I'm wow. not I'm not kidding. So it's just, you it's know, incredible. my mustache says I'm a thinking man, and uh, this down here says yeah. uh, it's just the flu. Get over it, people. <laughs> yeah. You have the true Johnny Depp, the, the Fu yeah. Manchu, you know, just, just comes in right thing. here. You know, somebody told me last time I was at the grocery store back in the before times, someone said at the yeah. checkout, they said, has anyone ever told you you look like Johnny Depp? And I said, absolutely <laughs> not, but, but that's amazing. <laughs> so I've been... I've been saying I look like Johnny Depp now. It's the beard. It's the uh, the the Fu Man. Mm -hmm. uh, I was growing up. I always wanted that, but I never had. I go. I mind grew in here first. So growing you, here on the sideburns and the neck beard. And I was wish it would grow in here. Can you grow down here? Now I can. Yeah. Now, okay. as you can see, I blossomed. Yeah. Now's it, now's a good time. I could grow a beard. Yeah, Nelson from my band has grown a beard he's gone Oop. he's going full david letterman take an opportunity <laughs> <laughs> so maybe i should i never i've never had a beard in my life i don't know yeah you should try it why not i guess yeah i, I can't i can't die without knowing what it's like to have a beard this this lag is really bad for bullshitting isn't it we have to we have is to it? Am I lagging? seconds between uh uh are you like you have to wait a few seconds after I stop talking to start talking? You're actually pretty, pretty smooth right now, but maybe it's delayed. Okay, are you getting the Are you getting the news channel delay where you like you finish? Yeah, and then a little I... bit. Yeah, it, it looks like we're communicating <laughs> remotely. When we imagined the future, we imagined video phones, but we didn't imagine them to be laggy and shitty, and then civilization would be over due to disease. I thought they would just kind of work. You know, I, I listened to a I listened to a podcast about uh, the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic today. It was, yeah. it was very interesting. Hi, highly recommend. It's the NPR Through Line podcast. There's an episode about the Spanish wow. flu. It's like I think it's like half hour long or something. But similarities and differences between uh, between then and now. But it's really interesting. Crazy. They did a lot of the social distancing things that we're doing right now. A lot of the did. quarantining wow. and stuff, and uh, and and it was helpful. That's crazy. That would be really cool to learn about. I feel like that's that's the last time the whole world has been kind of stopped because of a virus, right? Yeah, and there, there's like these little hiccups where uh, where like um, in the 70s, I think it was like 1976, there was a swine flu uh, epidemic, and they thought that it was like yeah. the big one. So the Ford administration was like, we're <clears> going to make all these swine flu vaccines, and we got to hunker down and take this seriously. And uh, uh, it wasn't that serious. And the vaccine ended up actually, well, I, I won't say because I, I don't want to empower any, any anti-vaxxers. <laughs> anti it went totally smoothly and everyone should have gotten it. Right. 99.9% <laughs> of the time, vaccines Right. Are. It was, yeah, most people Excellent. Did, did great. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, someone just commented, if I dye my beard green, I can be like the earth. Wow. I don't know what kind of weed you're smoking, but I really want some, and I really love that comment. <laughs> the Frogman 95. Uh, so tell me about your uh, Tales of Possession. The oh, uh, uh, animations are super awesome. Hey, thanks. I love uh, I, I didn't do them, um, but I did yeah. do the talking that inspired you them. Did. Uh, it's this animated series about Joy Wave's new record, Possession, that I would encourage all 94 people watching to check out. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it goes through the record track by track, talks about what each song is about in a way uh, that's, I think, much more articulate than I could uh, FaceTime tell you right now. So uh, yeah. everyone, everyone should check that out. Who, uh, who did those animations for you? Uh, a guy named Jared Harris. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're, they're super awesome. He's very talented.
There, I love the, the black and white draw, hand drawn animation vibe. Yeah. I'm about that. It reminds me of Mike Judge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very the cool. old Beavis and the Butthead. Sure. Um, Megan Holiday is here, the number one Joywave fan. What's up, Megan? Megan is going to be on the show, I believe, tomorrow. This oh, is wow. the Dreamcast, by the way, which is a name I came up with on the fly. It's like a podcast, but it's dreamier. But for dreamers, wow. Yes. I'm weeping. Okay. Um, so you said there are 94 people watching. There, there will be, usually by the end, because we post on our story, there will be three to 5,000 wow. people watching. So you wow. can imagine like you're on a podium on a gi in a giant there, auditorium. There's, a, there's actually 85 watching now. We're, we're With... boring people. There's 84 watching now. We're putting people to sleep. <laughs> and there's 90. We just picked some uh. up. We these, boosted. Things are, these things are crazy. Like you'll see, you'll see accounts with like millions and millions of followers, and you click their thing, and it's like there's like two thousand people watching or something, and the math that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's really crazy. And you can't trust everything you read. The Beatles could never have had the depth that Black and White has. I really appreciate that, Zane, but I don't know if that's true. But you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Black and white stand. Wow, the black and white crew is here. So, does anyone have any questions for uh, Daniel or myself? I think you should ask him. And I will. Uh, I will ask him. The Beatles wish they wrote black and white. That's true. It's actually if you go on the Beatles Wikipedia, you can <laughs> really find that. Yeah, it was an interview with uh, George Harrison gave. Hey, how are Nick? How are stores there? Is everything? Is everything crazy? I mean, have you gone outside at all? How, have you been getting? Crazy? I have. Yeah, I've, I've been to the grocery store a couple of times. It's been pretty chill. I didn't go during the initial panic buy phase when everyone was kind of crazy. I fortunately already had food and <laughs> I was kind of just hanging. Yeah. Uh, and since then, it's been, it's very chill. There's like every shelf is half full or half empty, depending on if you're a pessimist or an optimist. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had they have everything I need uh, so far. It's fine. I keep hearing things like Amazon is going to go on strike. The employees of, of uh... there's there's a lot of that, which is which is pretty pretty crazy to me. It's like uh, some some time like some people are making it like the time to raise a stink about something else that they're unhappy with, and it's like right kind of kind of feels like everyone's just trying to get through the day <laughs> right now. I think a lot of just, there's so many orders on Amazon and that, that their management is pushing them to just yeah, it's go, go, yeah, go. It's, it's probably, it's probably not, the, not the best place to work right now. And they're like, bitch, pay me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think everyone should. Uh, the, our local grocery store here in Rochester, Wegmans, is, is giving everyone hazard pay. So everyone's uh, hourly rate went up like a couple bucks or five bucks or something, which is great. So I, I yeah. feel like uh, everything's easily avoidable by doing that for everyone who's right. who's still working, you know. And then if they if Bezos fires them, they can just go on unemployment. Yeah, yeah, which is which is a, a crazy and exciting thing. And uh, as musicians, this is the first <laughs> time where uh, our fellow musicians and crew people, etc., are eligible to file for unemployment, which is pretty cool. I've heard that, and that's kind of critical because, you know, you can't tour. No one can tour. Yeah. I, I, especially I, for I, crews and venues, is just a devastating reality of this. I think it's – I think this is the worst for crew people and, and venue people because there's not an alternative where it's like you and I can use this time to our benefit to be writing or, or doing things like that or we yeah, have – exactly we have like merch sales or other other things that come into the equation for us we have and, the dreamcast which <laughs> brings in dreamcast. And, tons of money uh, <laughs> every for, day for a lot for a lot of other people like for a few guys it's like there's not anything else that they can do so that the the unemployment being extended to them is very crucial yeah agreed so uh the question on everyone's mind is Stella, Daniel, how much do you miss hockey? I miss it a lot. I understand why it's not here right now. It's, it's probably for the best and uh, for the players safety and the fans safety. 
my Buffalo Sabres have been doing some some vintage broadcasts of games from the 90s and early 2000s. And uh, yeah. the team is playing a lot better in the past. So uh, it's working Perfect. out. Yeah, it's working out. <laughs> I've heard that ice doesn't kill coronavirus. So slamming each other's face into the ice is a prime way to catch it. Right, yeah. It's, it's uh, uh, better at, co- at cooler temperatures, right? Cooler, dry temperatures. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Doesn't survive in heat. Hmm. Greetings from Switzerland. Hello. Hello. Lightning fan, I'm here. Okay, so CJ, that's the one and only Satchmo, last night was playing uh, Grand Theft Auto. That's, that's what I heard. And he t- do you I know about this? Yeah. He told me this. He was our our drummer Paul is a, a a Grand Theft Auto aficionado, and he was playing with uh, with CJ your your Satchmo and I think one of your other buddies and, Elijah. Uh, I don't know. There was so there was someone else playing also though, and they were CJ said that Paul runs an insane criminal empire on Grand Theft Auto Online, yeah. because of which he's he's never seen. He said there's a Joy Wave yacht, which apparently is hard to get in the game, and then then they have to defend the yacht from people who raid it and stuff. <laughs> he, Paul played that game. Uh, our our friend Andre, uh, who has a, a, a project called RAC, a couple years ago we were at his house, and uh, he was like, Paul, do you want to play on my Twitch account? He gave him the, the PlayStation controller, and Paul was like, sure. So Paul yeah. starts running around the street, just taking axes to people's faces, and Andre's <laughs> frantically telling people, "This is not me on the account. This is this is Paul. He's a different person. I would never murder this many innocent people in Grand Theft Auto Online." And Paul was just right. laying waste. It's it's insane. He's Your good true at what personality does. comes out. You know, either you play The Sims, <laughs> where you uh, make people wear awesome clothes. We play Grand Theft Auto where you ax people in the face all day. It's it's pretty intense. Haley says she would die for CJ. Please don't, but that's very sweet. That's very, very sweet. <laughs> all right. Daniel, it's been fantastic to see you. Thanks for having me on I've, Dreamcast. Uh, I hope uh, the rest of the series goes well. And, it's, uh, I'm sure that it will. It's, it's, uh, the path is written. Um, <laughs> And uh, it's nice to see uh, your studio where I was, where we uh, yeah. created some great music when sure back in the did. touring times Hell yeah. when I was in Rochester. Hell yeah. So uh, thanks for inviting me in to hang via the internet in this time when everyone's lonely. They feel like they can't hang. And uh, so we got we to gotta hang like this. Hey. So thanks for doing it. I'll, I'll see you when all, the, uh, when all this is over. Indeed. Looking forward to it. All right, dude. Be well, my friend. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.